Okay, so in this one, we're going to be looking at Mars Girl. Now, if you don't remember, Mars Girl, or Kaylin Sisudo, is this individual who participated in uh, assault jokes where she was talking about grabbing the hair of a woman or the long hair of women and doing stuff to them herself. Also, these racially charged jokes. If you want to see the video, I'll link it in the comment section below, and you can check that out after this video. But this is an individual that is the the prototype for SJWs. They're insane. They're hypocritical. They try to deplatform and destroy honest working men, and that is what she's trying to do against Vic Mignogna. Now, uh, Yellow Flash had a little bit more in-depth coverage over this because he had access to retweets where she's retweeting uh, hate against Vic Mignogna, hate tweets and memes and all this, and they were pretty lame, to, to be honest. Uh, but what really caught my eye was some piece of crap cosplayer trying to uh, de-platform Vic from one of the few conventions that had the backbone to still feature him because majorly Vic has been blackballed from a lot of venues from a lot of conventions due to this controversy so Hawaii Con is one of the few anime conventions that have said you know what due to the lack of evidence Due to us knowing that Vic is a good person, we're still going to feature him despite what these SJWs think. Well, that's not good enough for Kaylin Sasudo and Leia Rose. They are over here trying to deplatform him because boycott at Hawaii Con. Because assuming over 30 women is, are lying, it's not Aloha, I'm disgusted. Where is this number 30 coming from? And number two... Do you not know that people can collaborate lies? People can get together with a group of their friends and lie on someone. That, that's that been proven where people were coming together on a Facebook group to concoct lies against Vic. That's already been proven to be the case. So because 30 women out of the 7 billion different people in the world decide to uh, coincide and lie on Vic, he should be fe featured at an anime convention. I love that logic. But you know what other logic I love? What's good for the goose is good for the gander. I feel like we should, just like with Jamie Marchi or Marky or whatever the hell her last name is, Marchi, Marky, uh, find out what conventions that those people are going to and call your and voice your concern and get them deplatformed. Now, a lot of people don't like deplatforming and I don't like it either, but when I see other people on the other side trying to tear a man down a, a innocent honest man i feel like you have to do it to them so you can see them whine and cry just like jamie mark i'm losing work i'm not gonna you maybe you shouldn't have tried to falsely accuse an innocent man of something he's not guilty of anyways you can see that Hawaii Con, a lot of respect to them. Please don't buckle under pressure. Please don't stick to your guns. Stick to your guns. Keep Vic Mignogna at that venue. So in celebration of the amazing success of Dragon Ball Super Broly, one of the top grossing anime films of all time, Hawaii Con is happy to announce the 2019 return of one of our Aloha, or Ohana rather, none other than the Broly himself, Vic Mignogna. Vic is a giant of anime, full metal alchemist, fairy tale, Naruto Shippuden, RWBY or Ruby, and so many other franchises. So uh, they actually decide to have a backbone to feature this individual. And what I'm seeing here, are you guys see, are you guys sure about this decision? One of many articles. Who gives a crap about articles? Articles are written on websites of SJW liars. That's been proven. Or are we going to ignore the existence of the Mary Sue and other toxic man-hating feminist websites? Anyways, and this one by Beth Gizmodo, blah, 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 da, da, da. Who cares about Gizmodo? We, and here's Hawaii Con. They said big ups to them for having the backbone because they said we are 100 percent sure about having vic as a guest at hawaii con we've read everything there is to read and have gone beyond and this is i guess they said this is our decision or, or whatnot because the tweet cuts off as you can see so they actually have the backbone oh here we go we are 100 percent sure about having vic as a guest at hawaii con we've read everything there is to read and have gone beyond and this is what we know 
Vic Mignana is one of the best guests we have ever had at Hawaii Con, attentive to guests, generous with his time, professional and personal at the same time. These are the Hawaii Con facts. Everything else is just gossip and that is not aloha. Backbone. Backbone. And if you if you start ignoring, because a lot of these little SJWs, they're kids. They are a lot of them. Uh, I'm ashamed to say they're in, in the same age group as I am. And they're child minded. They're so used to having people bend over backwards for them. This is where they were raised with piece of trash parents that didn't know how to put their foot down. They're so used to getting their way just by complaining and whining and groaning and moaning and nah, 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 that when someone says, look, we, we know that this is gossip. We know the man personally, and this is our decision. Well, that's not what we want to happen, so we're going to make a tweet about it. Twitter is probably one of the worst things to happen because it gives these babies a platform to whine on. Uh, Annabelle as pumpkins. I'm stunned. Predators are good at hiding because they know how to appear professional and charming. Thanks for being clear where your priorities on fa uh, fan safety apparently stand. Well, Monica Rial shouldn't be at any convention because we have stories of her hugging and kissing individuals without their consent. Jamie Markey in that other video that I released yesterday was hugging Vic and he didn't look too enthused about it. So they should be deplatformed as well. Like I said, when you bring it against them, well, it's different because she's a woman. No, it's not. If men or women are equal, they deserve the equal treatment. Got to keep looking at this stuff. So I guess that's the last line of tweets. But just to show you how dirty Mars Girl is, even after being exposed for the liar, for the hypocrite, for the... Uh, assault enthusiast that she is because again in her own words she says she would do it herself she's out here trying to participate in the deplatforming of a legend who again everything that's been said against him has no shred of evidence it's just well i'm saying the, your word is not enough where's the evidence where's the recordings where the where are the where, where's anything with vic where where's the evidence it, on, on him we're not going to be believe these made up lies. So, of course, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, go check out uh, Yellow Flash. He went a little bit more in depth than I just did. Uh, of course, I've been your perfect being in the number one anime gaming, Dragon Ball, and journalist on YouTube. Of course, the name being Perfection. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to check out our live stream today. I will be putting out a, po uh, a, po a poll shortly after this video where you can vote about which games you want to see. And I'm thinking about open up, opening up a uh, podcast as well so that you guys can come out and talk during the stream. And I'll be taking in guests and talking to them while I'm just destroying people and probably Jump Force because that's been killing it lately. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Peace.